So in AutoCAD 2021, we can go to the View tab here, like so, and you can see that there's a Named Views panel. And I can look at my views here, and you can see that we've got Entrance and Patio Area as Named Views. Now, if you're using an older version of AutoCAD, you won't have that Named Views panel. So you go here to Top, click on there, and you get a flyout, and there's your custom model views, entrance and patio area. So what we're going to do is we're going to work with a new layer in the drawing. So we're going to go to the Home tab on the ribbon, and we need to make sure that we're using the landscaping layer. So we click on the layer drop down. Lots of layers in this drawing. Make sure you use the right one, which is A, landscaping. Make that the current drafting layer. And what we're going to look at first is rectangles and polygons. So we're going to go to the entrance named view first. Now I'm going to use the view tab here on the ribbon and the named views panel, but you can use the top here and go to custom model views here if you wish. If you want to lose that menu, just hit escape a couple of times. So we're going to go to the entrance named view. There it is there. And that'll zoom me into the entrance. Now, once you've done that, go back to the Home tab on the ribbon and just make sure that A Landscaping is still your current drafting layer. OK, very important. You'll find out why in a moment. Now, we're going to create a rectangle, which is going to represent some hard standing outside the entrance of the building. So draw panel here up to the little fly out there and select rectangle. And the first corner of your rectangle is going to tally up with the windows here. So use that intersection there, left click. So you can see the rectangle is coming off there like so. Now go up here and hover over the other intersection, the other side of the door opening. And don't click, but just drag vertically downwards like so using your polar tracking. I'm not worried about how deep you go with this. But you can see there I'm at 4294.8. You could type a value in if you wanted to. I'm not too worried. I'm just going to left click. And there's my rectangle there utilizing my object snaps and my object snap tracking. But we've tied it in and it's tallying up with the window openings either side of the door there for the entrance. Now we're going to double click on the wheel and zoom extents like so. And then we're going to go back to our named views. Now... This time, I'm going to use the top option here in the view control, custom model views and patio area, like so. Now, as soon as I do that, keep an eye on the layers in the layers panel. It's gone to viewports. We didn't make a change. That's because when you create named views, AutoCAD creates what is called a layer snapshot. It remembers the layer settings when the named view was created. So in this case, the current drafting layer was viewports when the patio area named view was set up. So we just need to make sure that we go back to the layer drop down, find our landscaping layer, and you'll notice it's frozen. So it's remembered that it's even frozen when this particular name view was created. So we need to thaw it out. We'll also thaw out the setting out layer and then we'll select our A landscaping layer as the current drafting layer. We'll then zoom in a little bit. You don't have to stay with the view that the name view gave you. And I might come back one notch there, just so we've got a nice clean bit of space ready for our patio area. So we're staying on the A landscaping layer. I'm going back to the draw panel now, and I'm clicking on the flyout. I'm selecting polygon this time. I want a hexagonal patio area outside of the side entrance of the building. So number of sides for hexagon will be six. Type that in and press enter. And it's now asking for the center of the polygon. Now I don't want a center. I want to specify an edge. Notice on the command line at the bottom of the screen, there's an edge sub option. If I right click, that also appears on the shortcut menu. Select edge. And then using your object snaps, you're going to select this wall corner here, left click come down to this wall corner here, left click. And when you zoom out slightly, you can see that we've got a nice hexagonal patio area coming off of that opening there on the side of the building. And again, 
like with the entrance we're tallying it up with the window openings so it all looks neat and tidy on the side of the building there. All you've got to do now is do a double click on the wheel to zoom extents and you can see now if I just zoom out one notch there we've got some nice landscaped hard standings, a patio area to the right of the building and an entrance area down there at the bottom where the entrance doors are for the building too. And you can see how quick and easy it is to create those hard standings using the rectangle and the polygon command. <laughs>